What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my second Players Cup team testing slash practicing video. Uh, like I said in the previous video, this is a double upload day. So we're going to be uploading Boost to the Top earlier today at like 2 p.m. And we're going to be uploading this practice session at like 4 or 5 p.m. I don't know when, uh, but I'm testing out double uploads. If you guys like it, do me a favor, leave a like in the video. Let's try to shoot for 150 likes. The last video didn't do so hot. I'm not certain why. Usually my showdown lives do a little bit better. Uh, but if you guys want to help me with engagement, go ahead, comment down below what you think is probably the strongest player on this team. Like, who do you think is the best Pokemon on this team? But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Once again, I'm not sharing the team because this is my Players' Cup team. I'd like to keep as much of the secret as possible. Um, and for those of you wondering, this ELO isn't from, like, just this, like, just this team. This is a this is an ELO from, like, me using many, many teams over the course of EGC20. Uh, but yeah. Also, we dropped a few points because I played a couple of games off camera and played pretty poorly. So hopefully uh, being on camera helps me out a bit. Ooh, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. I don't like this team at all because there is a freaking Shed Ninja. <laughs> and I think if there's anything no one wants to see uh, on the other side of the field, it's 100% it's it's Shed Ninja. That and probably like an X-World Champion or something. Hello, Peruvian Slayer. Uh, I prefer the Puff Pepper, personally. Hopefully, I... What do I even do here? Um, I think that Weakness Policy Dragapult could be really useful in the lead. I certainly think that. Um, what I want to do is I want to lead off Dragapult Togekiss, and hopefully that'll discourage them from going for the, like, the Dynamax. Hopefully they just go for the Dazzling Gleam. I think that's a pretty solid lead. Um, in the back here, I would like to bring... I think Indeedy isn't awful. It isn't, it isn't awful, but I think Gyarados is probably overall better. It helps me hit a couple of things. Uh, and I think my last Pokemon... I kind of want to go Indeedy. I kind of want to go Cobalion. Cobalion could be useful for hitting just about everything for super effective, except for um, except for Mudsdale. So we'll go Cobalion. We'll go Cobalion. And I guess the way the play, this plays out is just... Um, based on what they bring. But that, that's every game. What are you talking about, Margus? That's literally every game of EGC ever. By the way, guys, if you, go on, if you want an extra video every week, check out the Patreon. And also, check out this epic emote I'm getting on my Twitch chat. We like I just I just commissioned my good friend HRXMJ to make these awesome emotes for my Twitch chat. So if you guys want to watch me live, you can do that on uh, YouTube.com. Or uh, Twitch.tv. Either one, really, actually. Either one works. Alright, so this is pretty scary. They're probably going to go for a dragon move here. Um, since Stalwart allows them to ignore my follow me. What I may do here is actually Dynamax my Togekiss. Ooh, actually check this out. I'm going to protect here. I'm going to Dynamax Max Airstream into their Togekiss. And they should go for the dragon move into the Dragapult since it doesn't get follow me away. And then I'll get my weakness policy. As they steal spike, that is terrifying. Hello? <laughs> I didn't like that. I would have preferred if you went for the other option. I get my crit. I am now faster than both of them, which is really great. My Dragapult will go first, but Dragon Darts will not be enough. Um, I mean, Dragon Darts can go into the Duraldon. That should be fine. I want to go for the Max Starfall. I really do. Maybe I just go Cobalion here for the speed boost. Because they're going to go for a steel move, right? Yeah, I would have preferred if they just went for the for the max move there. Airstream will definitely KO. Here's what I'll do. I'll go Cobalion and I'll just Airstream. Maybe this turn they'll Dragon move. Nope, there's the Steel Spike. They're going to get up to plus two defense. Ooh, I may have, I may have freaked it, guys. I may have freaked it. <laughs> Because uh, here's the main issue. Here's the main issue of what's going on. They still have a turn of Dynamax. They still got a whole turn of Dynamax here. Alright, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch in the Gyarados. I need them to go for... Um, I need them to go for the Dragon move, finally. Yep, we're going to get our Weakness Policy there. It's really good. They should go for the high horsepower. Yep, there it is. Alright. Uh, in this turn, I'll actually get in the Cobalion. 
And I would like to Phantom Force into Duraludon, because that I think is my main issue here. So we're going to Phantom Force. Hopefully catch a Thunderbolt into the uh, Gyarados slot, because Cobalion will come and eat it relatively well. I know it's Life Orb, but we should eat it relatively well. There's the Incineroar, that's fine. Going to Phantom Force up. As they Flash Cannon, phenomenal. I'll get in the Gyarados again to Intimidate. And I will Phantom Force into you. There's the Fake Out, that's fine. Does a solid chunk. Unfortunately, we're going to lose our boy here. In comes the Cobalion. Okay, this is actually a pretty good spot to be in. Because uh, Waterfall does disgusting damage. I can go for my Close Combat into the Duraldon if I want to. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I'll Waterfall here and I'll go for Close Combat. That will knock it out. We're going to get some damage off on the uh, Incineroar. We might even flinch. Hey, we got the flinch. That's game. That's game. Okay, cool. Because Incinera is 100% within range of what we need here. That might be weakness policy, but I'm not too concerned about that. We'll close combat into Incinera for the KO. I just got bailed out by that flinch, probably. And that's game. Alright. GG, man. Am I the real Moxie boosted? Gaming. <laughs> Gaming. That's my only answer, man. Alright. GLHF. Alright, I'm, I'm going to ignore him just because I'm recording the video. I usually don't ignore people. <laughs> My apologies if I sound like a like a horrible person for doing that. Alright, um... I kind of want to... I kind of want to... Lead off Cobalion here, but that's pretty scary. I could do Gyarados, but I'm scared of Trick Room, really. I think they're more likely to go with the fast option versus me. They're probably more likely to go with the fast option. Um, currently recording a vid, sorry. I can't spell. <laughs> okay. Um, I can go Dragapult on the lead, I think, and that'll be fine. And Gyarados. In the back here, I would like to bring... Bailey doesn't seem awful. It really doesn't. And I think my last Pokemon might need to be either Indeedee or Togekiss. I definitely need a special attacker, and Togekiss seems a little bit better. Alright, this is actually great. Not really. Not really at all. Because um, I can't go for what I want to go for. I want to taunt that Dusclops really, really bad. I really do. Uh, I'll just Dragon Darts here. And I'll get in the Cobalion. I could actually get in Togus pretty safely. Basically, I want to keep my... I could have taunted, are you kidding me? The man just switched out? You're messing with me, dude. You're messing with me. Okay. Alright, he's gonna bulldoze, right? He's gonna bulldoze. So my play here is get in the Cobalion and get in the Gyarados. I'm gonna intimidate him. And then I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my justified boost here because he's gonna lash out. There's a hundred percent a chance. There's a one hundred percent chance this man's gonna lash out. He rock slided and I got lucky again. <laughs> you rock slided and I got lucky. All right. Um, likelihood of a lash out less less than before. I'm willing to sack the toga kiss here. I'll protect. Actually, I could just close combat. Get in the Togekiss. He has to not have a fighting move. Alright, yeah, that thing's gone. Great. Yeah, I had taunt on my on my Gyarados, and I just expected a fake out there. Maybe he was just scared of Gyarados, but what I mean it's a minus one Gyarados at that point. It's not too scary. And we also have all four of our Pokemon, which is really nice. Uh, what does he really have to take advantage of Trick Room? Not much. Not much. Like, Incineroar is one of his other Pokemon. I think he probably has Rotom or Togekiss. 
Either the one of them, I feel pretty safe versus, I think. I just have to keep Cobalion healthy. Alright, there's the Incineroar. Uh, I can live with that. I'll get in the... I can protect here and get in the Gyarados. And the reason I'm getting in Gyarados for this slot is because he may just Will-O-Wisp into the Cobalion. There's the Nightshade, that's fine. Burning Jealousy, interesting. Uh, I kind of want to taunt this Dusclops to prevent any further Trick Room shenanigans. Yeah, that could be useful. Or I could just Waterfall. I'll just Waterfall and taunt it next turn. I want to get damage off the Incineroar. Alright, Rotom Wash, that's fine. Pain Split, good taunt, good taunt. Good time to taunt. Alright, um... He's likely faster than me, if he's timid max speed. But he should probably Trick Room up. What I'll do here is I'll just go for the, uh... The follow me and the taunt. Yep. Great. Alright, and now I get in my Dragapult. And I'm thinking... He's faster than me is the issue, right? He's faster than me. But... I'm pretty positive that Max Phantasm... Into Power Whip would KO... But I'm going to send the Cobalion. I want to keep Gyarados healthy because he might end up Dynamaxing his, his Incineroar in the endgame. I'm just going to Max Phantasm. Hopefully he doesn't have Will-O-Wisp. And a Thunderbolt's 100% going into the Gyarados here. I could have Airstreamed into Power Whip, but that wouldn't have been safe. Phantasm does a good chunk. So Dusclops is 100% within range of getting KO'd. Um, it's a pretty scary spot to be in. I think Phantasm into Rotom plus Waterfall into Dusclops is my play. Because I think it's in within, it's within range at minus two to get KO'd. I think I'll do that. So we'll Phantasm Rotom once more. And we'll, water, we'll Waterfall the Dusclops. Because Phantasm's 100% knocking out the Rotom. There's there's no doubt that's that's going to knock it out. What I'm concerned about is this move knocking out Dusclops more than anything. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. He flinches too, which is great. Uh, what I'll do here is I will actually just go ahead and go for the Wormwind into the Dusclops, because that'll knock it out. And I can go for a Waterfall into Incineroar. And what that will do is it'll lower the Incineroar's attack stat. And it'll allow me to get my weakness policy off. And then Dragon Darts is going to be doing disgusting damage. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I still got Dragon Darts pressure. Alright. We'll Dragon Darts here. Um, and I think I just Waterfall. Dragon Darts should KO the Rotom from this range unless he Dynamaxes it, which I don't think is his play. I just don't see that being his play. We have minus two in the Gyarados, which is scary. I think from this range, Dragon Darts will KO even with the one hit. Hopefully we can defeat the great Charizard fan 001. What a legend within the community. He Dynamaxes that thing. Okay. Dragon Darts will not KO. Good play. Good play by my opponent. Unfortunately, I, I lose here. So good game to them. Good game to them, even though I, even though I didn't say it. I will, I will think good game. Let's go ahead and get one more battle. These these are shorter videos, by the way. Like, the, the practice sessions are, on purpose, shorter videos. Alright, so this is pretty interesting. It could be, like, Weakness Policy... Milotic? That's, that's a possibility. Um... I don't want to lead off Gyarados, even though in every other situation Gyarados would be a phenomenal lead here. I'll go Dragapult in the lead because it just feels right. Um, 
We'll go Dragapult. Cobalion, I think. I have not been able to use Indeedy Thievul too often. It's not dead weight, though. It's still really useful in certain matchups. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so... What do you think? Dragapult? Maybe Togekiss? I don't want to lead off Gyarados. It's just not worth it. We'll do the Dragapult Cobalion. We'll bring Gyarados in the back, and I think my last Pokemon may need to be Indeedy. Just for the cleanup. They do have a couple of things for that, though. Uh, I'll bring Togekiss. Yeah, I think that's probably my play. Or actually, no, no, no. I am going to bring Indeedy. So we're going to do Dragapult, Cobalion, Indeedy, and Gyarados. And the reason I'm bringing Indeedy is because they actually have Fake Out, Bullet Punch, Fake Out, Grassy Glide, all those floral moves, or all those healing moves like that. That's really important to block. So I'm going to go ahead and block that. Yeah, I, the reason I have Gyarados on this team is because it's it's actually really solid in this format. It helps you beat um, it helps you beat Cinderace, Rillaboom, uh, just opposing Grass types. It's really good versus Venusaur too, since I have the safety goggles. It's nice versus Amoongus, even though Amoongus doesn't see too much usage in Series Six or in Series Five compared to Series Six. Uh, it's it's a pretty good lead. All right, so Dragon Ball Cobalion. Um, I could just delete the Chandelure right now. I could just delete the Chandelure. I think what I'll do is I'll burn my Dynamax right now. I don't believe they're going to Trick Room here. I could just double into the Chandelure for the KO. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll max Phantasm, since they don't exactly have a switch in for that, and I'll just Iron Head for damage, because they could be Focus Sash. Yep, as they are Bullet Punch. They're probably expecting me to be Sash, and they're like, ah, I would break your Sash, and I'm just like, nah, 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 G. Get him out of here. <laughs> you are not getting that move off. Alright, and now I actually have Intimidate, which is really solid. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll go for the Max Wormwind on the Incineroar, and get in the Gyarados. Because that'll intimidate it. Darkest Lair will not KO me. So they get in the Rillaboom. Hopefully they Darkest Lair out of here. Ooh, as they Dynamax. As they Dynamax. Hello? They do go for the Max Darkness, and it doesn't KO me. Hello? Hello, friend? Hello? Uh, and I'll actually go ahead, and I want to go for this Max Wormwind into my, into my good friend Gyarados here. Into my good friend Gyarados, or into my good friend Rillaboom. because uh, they have no switch-ins. Alright, so we'll do that, and I'll get in the Cobalion as well. That should be safe. I could also get in the DD, but Cobalion just heals better. Grassy, Glizzy Glide will not KO me, my friend. Delete. Get him out of here. It's the max darkness. I don't even care. I'm going to get another Intimidate off, bro. Get in the Gyarados. Get in the Gyarados. That thing's going to have no attack stat by the time I'm through with it. Scizor? Don't even care. Alright, um, let me get in Ndidi. And I'll actually go ahead and protect the Cobalion here. I'll protect the Cobalion. I have Mystical Fire for that Scizor, which is going to be really fun. They should just go for the Fire move into Cobalion. It's the Dual Wing Beat. Okay. 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 I can live with that. Let me go for this Mystical Fire. For this, for this Mystical Fire. Um, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that's probably... I'll close combat it as well. It might be Assault Vest Scizor, judging by... What I've seen so far. Good game. Let's see if he says okay. I'd very much enjoy to just poop on this man's day right now. Well played. You too. Oh, well, at least he was nice. At least he was nice. <laughs> he was mean at the beginning, but now he's nice. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's uh, practice session, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor. Leave a like if you're enjoying this uh, Series 5 practice content. 
Uh, and yeah, if you haven't already watched Boost to the Top that came out earlier today, go ahead and click on that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, and also, did join the Discord. Support me on Patreon. Either one. Watch me on Twitch. I keep forgetting to plug those things. Have a nice night, guys.